Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a loading screen when you launch your PyQt application. Before we dive into the tutorial video, let me just give you a quick demo on what we'll be doing in this exercise. So here, let me run my lesson.py script. When I execute this script, I'm going to have a loading screen right in front. And the loading screen is going to run for three seconds, then it's going to uh, terminate the window and gives me my uh, my main window app, which is this window right here. And as well as for the the animation, um, I'm using the loading to .gif file from commons.wikimedia.org. And I'll, I'll link this link in the description below so you can uh, download this, this uh, GIF file and for uh, for this exercise. Now let's get started into the tutorial. First, I'm going to import the libraries from the Qt widgets uh, module. I'll be importing the app, Q application uh, Q widget and Q label. Next, I'll import the, from the Qt core module. I'll import the Qt class Q timer. So the timer is going to be used to perform the counter. So it's going to count three seconds, then uh, then hide the the loading window. And lastly, from the Qt GUI uh, module, I'll be importing the QMovie class. Uh, the QMovie class is basically a class that uh, you use to perform any types of uh, animation. Now for the main app, I'm going to create a class called App Demo. The App Demo is going to be our, our main window. I'll pass the QWidget class as the parent class. Oops, should we init? And here I'm going to construct my Q application instance. And this should be, uh, oops, app.exit. And I'm going to uh, pass the application execution statement. Now I'm going to create my app demo instance. And I'll name the instance demo. And that's it. And here I'll do self dot show, so that will display the window. And here let me take a look. Oh, so from import comma. Oh, so here I have a comma here. And I need to activate my environment. All right now, if I run the script, and we'll have a blank window. Now to create the, the loading screen, so I'm going to actually construct a separate class and as a, so kind of like a, a separate widget that we'll use to perform to create the loading window. And, and again, uh, I'm going to pass QWidget class uh, as the parent class. Oops. So ideally, you can have different parameters. So you can have, uh, if you want, you can pass a uh, text parameter. So if you want to, oh, maybe a uh, get file path parameter. If you want to use different animation, get file. But for this demonstration, I'm going to make uh, everything as easy as possible. So I won't be doing anything fancy. So here I'm going to set the window size to fixed size. And I'll set the size to 200. And the 200. And the size is actually based on your GIF file. So if I go back to my folder, and if I go into my GIF file properties, and if I go on the details tab, so you can see the your uh, GIF file dimension. Mine is 198 and by one by 198. But I'm going to just run that run up to 200. And I'm also going to set the window flex. I'm going to use two different flex. So the first one is the Qt windows, windows, which should be windows stays um, top hint. This flag will uh, make sure that your loading screen is on the top. And the other one is Qt dot customize window hint. So this one is going to hide the, the top menu. 
Now to create our animation, so I'm going to basically insert our GIF file inside a queue label widget. Next, we need to create our animation. So we'll use the queue movie class and we'll pass the GIF file uh, path. So the file name is loading underscore two dot GIF. Now we have the, the GIF file stored in a queue movie uh, uh, instance. And what we want to do is we want to insert the GIF file uh, inside our label animation object. So here was, I'll use the set movie method and I'll pass the self.movie object. Now in terms of the, the counter, and I'll be using the queue timer class to do that. And first we need to create kind of like the kind of like an animation loading function. So this function will load the uh, the loading screen. And I'll name this function start animation. And it's going to be self movie dot start. So this will uh, create this will uh, load the this uh, get file. Now we have the function created, and I can uh, call the function. So let me see, queue timer. So here's my time object. I can start the, the animation. And because I only want to load the animation uh, one time, so I'll use the timer.single shot. And I want to load the, the animation for uh, three seconds. I'm going to pass the value of 3000. And next is the function want to provide, want to uh, execute to stop the animation. So I don't have the, the function. I don't have the function yet. Let me create a function. I will name this function stop animation. And the function will be self.movie.stop. And I'll pass this method to my single shot statement. So self stop animation. And lastly, we need to show the loading screen. And that's it. Here I also want to uh, close the window. So it should be self uh, close. Now that's everything we need uh, to create the loading screen. Now we have the, the loading screen class created. Now let's go back to our app demo class. And here I'll just basically insert a label. Let's do so here uh, on my app demo window. I'll insert a label. I'll set the size to 12. And I'll say um, this is main app window. And I'll set the geometry. And I'll set the so I'll set the height. Actually, that's not height. That's the width to one fifty, and the heights to one fifty. Uh, the t I think it's the left value and the uh, top value. So 150, 150, 350. And here I want to uh, create a loading screen instance. Loading screen. Oops. This equals to loading screen class. And here we're really, uh, displaying the, the application. All right, now that's it. Now let's give it a try. So if I save and run the script, and what's my animation? Let me see. Uh, so I was expecting this to be causing some issue. Oh, I know why. So here, let me put that back. So here I made a typo. It should be loading screen uh, class. Now let me try again. So here, no, oh, oops, set. So we set fixed size. Now here's my, so I have my loading window. Oh, so here should be a method. All right now that is, now that's working. So let me, let me start over again. So if I uh, save and run the script, and here I have my loading window, and it's going to run for three seconds, then close. And once that's closed, that leads me just the, my main window application. So this is everything I'm going to cover in this tutorial. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching.
I'll see you guys on the next video.